What's up guys? Today we're going to drop a cooking video because I know that it has been a minute and we are cooking quite the epic feast today. I've got stone crab claws, but even more interesting than that, I've got a live lobster down there taking a nap in the fridge. I'm going to show you the whole way that we're going to do this. It's going to be delicious. You guys are going to love it. It's going to be a lot of fun. We'll catch you here in a minute. Alright guys, so we got our seafood here, we got our live lobster here, he's starting to wake up, I just took him out of the fridge, we'll zoom in on him in a second here, we've got these awesome stone crab claws, and we have two dozen oysters which we're going to eat, these raw, so these, how we're going to do this is we're going to cook the lobster in the most traditional way possible to get the most out of it, um, they actually fly these in from Maine. I went ahead and bought one. He was expensive, but I've never actually slaughtered one myself or butchered. I don't know the best word to put it. Um, so he's going to be really simple. We'll go through that process, and then the water that's left over, we're going to use to uh, to to basically these are already pre-cooked um, because of the nature of the crab. We're going to use that to uh, fix everything up. But uh, the main star of the show here is. Uh, this lobster so he is still alive he's been in the fridge when you put him in a fridge they uh, they basically go into almost like a cryogenic state um, but he is still quite alive he's just very sleepy he's starting to wake up a little bit now um, but I'm going to I'm going to kill him in the most humane way possible so I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that and then he's gonna go into this uh, boiling pot of water so I'll show you that here in just a second. Here he is, guys. You want to see him moving? Like I said, he's pretty asleep. You can see him wiggling. He's been in the fridge since last night, so he's kind of in a deep state of sleep. Um, just to make all you guys feel better, he doesn't even have the neural capacity to feel pain. But um, I'm going to end his life very quickly, and he's not going to know the difference. He's half asleep right now. But you can see. Down here where he's moving more, down here around his mouth area. Once he starts getting tired, the, his big appendages become a little much for him to move. Um, but you can see him down here wiggling and, um, you know, around this area. You know, so he's reacting to it. So he is very much alive. He's just a little sleepy right now. So once this water boils, we will, uh, we will uh, be preparing him for said water so we'll be right back okay guys live main lobster here and uh, I'm gonna show you exactly what to do we've got a pot of, of water here that is at a very heavy boil um, I'm actually going to need something to pick up that lid and so right here at the top of the lobster is this little knuckle and what you're gonna want to do I'll turn him around. So I'm right handed. So right here at the knuckle, you're gonna do this in one. Alright guys, he's ready to come out of the pot. Let's see how he looks. And he looks gorgeous. to let him cool off and then we're gonna break him down. I try to uncurl this tail. And we'll be back once he's broken down. Alright now. Okay so while he's chilling we're going to take these lovely stone crab claws and we're going to use the same water to make them. But, see we didn't we don't want to heavily season this because this guy is really high quality. Stone crabs are too, but uh, you can't have crab without Old Bay. So we're going to add Old Bay to the water. And we're going to dump these stone crab claws right in. And they're only going to take probably a minute, minute and a half, two minutes max to heat up. Alright, I'm going to show you guys now how to fully break down a lobster. 
We're going to start by grabbing it on the body and the tail. We're just going to wiggle and the tail is going to pop right out like that. Now the next thing you're going to want to do, I've let this cool down normally, you would need to use a towel. You're going to lightly crush it to snap. Very, very, very careful. You can wiggle that little last piece of tail out. And that is a full lobster tail. So, the next thing we will be dealing with, I'll let this out. So, we'll look at everything else. So, claw. Snap, pop, break this open, pull this out, sometimes you get a little bit of meat on it, no, it's delicious. Now, these are a little more hardcore, uh, normally you want to use a towel, but I'm uh, not being the safest here. So basically, Wall broken open. Sometimes it will fall apart. It is not always perfect. It's kind of stuck in there. That's okay. And that doesn't make it any less delicious. And uh, let's skip to something fun. Here. I'll finish playing this up later. Nobody really cares to see me do this under time. So let's do something fun and let's grab a good looking leg. So what we're going to do is we're going to break the knuckle off. Actually, that's a claw. That's not good. Alright, so we're going to break the knuckle. I'm going to snap the end off. And then we're going to take a rolling pin. We're gonna just roll that mean right out. And see, most people throw away the legs. They don't realize. Delicious meat right there. So guys, that's the that's the basic way to handle a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm ready to break this thing down and eat it. I got hungry kids staring at me. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching and uh, appreciate you.